In this video, I'm going to show you a few advanced options for the select element, which can improve the user experience and performance of your web app. So what we have here is a list of countries. We have over 250 countries. And we also want to be able to, depending on the country that we search for, that the user searches for and selects, we want to get the capital city and the flag of that country. Because we have more than 200 items, we don't want to display them all at once in the select because otherwise that would mean our user's browser would need to build all those 251 items, which would potentially hurt performances. So what we'll do is on the input select, uh, we'll select the, we'll, we've enabled the advanced options. We've made the input searchable. So a user can type in, could start typing in the name of a country. They don't have to scroll through the entire list. Uh, we've enabled the close on select. So once they select the country they're interested in, the select closes. And we've activated the infinite scroll. We could change the color, we didn't. And then we limited also the options displayed. So we limited the options of the select to 20. Uh, so every 20 items, uh, there will be like an infinite scroll. That's where we will load 20 new items. So in terms of performance and user experience, it's much better. So now if, for example, I wanted to search for one of the items that's at the bottom of the list, in fact, the last is Zimbabwe. So I can type it in and select it. Because I have a workflow on change that fetches two collections, my collection capital city and my collection flag, this is updated. The information is fetched and this is bound to collection data. So that's one way the user can type in the country or we can scroll, th scroll through. And you see sometimes you see that little loader appear briefly while we load new items. So Kuwait. That's it. Those are a few advanced options of the select element that can improve your user's experience and the performance of your web app.